To animate the two separate door parts, you can start by adding the two doors to the sequence. You can animate these door parts with a property timeline. Though the property timeline is not as easy to use as the object path timeline, it offers more control. It's generally always a good practice to animate local position and local rotation instead of position and rotation. Since you'll be reusing the sequence, and you always want your doors to animate with respect to a common parent, you should use local position here also. If you take one of the doors, and you scrub to the final keyframe, you can then move the door into its final position in the scene view. You'll see that this automatically updates the keyframe for you, creating your curve. We want to do this again for the other door. Now to add a little bit of easing to these doors, we want to select all of our keyframes and flatten them. Flattening keyframes provides us with automatic easing, 